Hey guys, it's Heather from Kelva Plan, and today I am going to be setting up a monthly page. I haven't used this product in a while. We actually released this, gosh, like back in January, um, but I have a reason to use it. Um, it's not a very fun reason, but I'm going to be setting this up for an OIT tracker page. I'm actually going to be doing October or August, September, October. November and December. I want to go ahead and set them up through the end of the year. Today's video, I'll probably just be doing August, but I'm going to set them up for every month. So if you're not familiar with OIT, it's oral immunotherapy that you do for allergies. Um, my daughter has a peanut allergy and we really, we thought she had one when she was little. I mean, she was like probably seven or eight months when she tested positive for peanut allergy. She had a reaction. Um, and I knew it was a reaction because my niece Maddie has a peanut allergy. So I was kind of already on high alert when I finally gave her peanuts. <coughs> she reacted almost immediately. So we did the blood work and it showed positive, but very low numbers. So we went to the allergist. Um, they did a skin test. This was all back in 2022, like when she was a baby baby. They did a skin test. It showed positive. So with a reaction, blood test positive and skin test positive, they told us to live as if she had a peanut allergy. But they did say her blood work was very low. Like you have to, your blood work for a peanut allergy, I think it has to be 0.34 to be considered allergic and Amelia was 0.36 so like low 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 but numbers don't necessarily mean much um you could ha have a 0.36 or a 99 and both be anaphylactic so they're both still very scary but it was still a low number so they asked us to come back in summer of 2023 for another just check up see how things are going and do the blood work again just to see so we went back in, I think it was June of 2023, and her skin test was still very much positive. She got a very big... Sorry. You can do a more in-depth panel um, to find out which, like, I guess, part of the peanut she's allergic to, and there's one part that is more likely to outgrow, whereas the other ones are not. And she was like, let's do the blood work, see what the numbers are, see if she's likely to outgrow it. And if not, we'll talk about different therapy options. So we were like, cool. So we did that and the blood work came back super duper duper low to the point where the allergist was like, she may not actually be allergic. She could just have a skin sensitivity. Let's do a food challenge. So we did a food challenge last August and she technically passed. Um, I say technically because she's still like around her mouth when she was eating the peanut powder would get really red, but it wasn't hives. It was just like red skin. And besides that, she had no other symptoms and they were checking her consistently over like a five hour period. Um, so they told us she was not allergic and that we could live as though she was not allergic. So for a year, that is how we lived or not even a year. It was more like 10 months. Um, we lived as if she was not allergic and then she had a reaction um, so we went back to the allergist, did a skin test. It showed that she was allergic, but her skin test last year did too. So we went ahead and did blood work. The blood work was still very low, but it had doubled from what it was. So it was like a 0.36. Now it was like a 0.68 or something like that. So, um, in the meantime, while we were waiting on the blood work, she had another reaction um, and because of the reactions, they don't want to just go straight into a food challenge again to check everything. They want us to do OIT therapy. So that's where we're at. We're starting on the 7th. Um, so I'm going to take a little box right here. And what I want to do with these sheets is just kind of track her therapy. I'm going to track her appointments on this main page. I'm going to track her doses, um, her habit. I'm going to like habit track the doses. Oh man, I should not have done that. Okay. Now we're going to have to pull out a number seven from another set. That was not very smart. I think instead what I should do is pull up the 14 
and then put the box down. And then put the 14 down. Now, off the top of the bat, I don't know. I know our, these are our first two appointments that are very, very long for OIT, but I don't know. I think the next one will be this day, but I'm not positive, so I'm gonna leave it until we actually schedule. Then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna cover these up so that I can use these boxes um, for other things. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab our Alpha Basics. Do we have yellow? Pretty sure we do, yeah. So we're gonna just spell out OIT. And then, let's see, I think, I'm gonna write things to look for, like things that the doctor wants me to look for as we're dosing. Things to remember. And then we're just going to do notes in case there's anything else that I want to jot down. Okay, so then on the, I'm going to, I am going to put some flowers here because that's like half the fun of this, right? Um, so let's just go ahead and put, we can put one right here, one right here, one over here. So then I have, and then I, I'm pretty sure this will be our next appointment because it's the first two are back to back and then the third one is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put a box there, assuming that that's when it will be. And if not, we'll just have to change it. Okay, on the back, this one that says monthly habit tracker. Um... Let's see, how many rows we used? One, two, three, five. There's five, but we're technically not starting, so we technically only need four for the dosing. So, but we could, I bet one of these skinnier ones, we're gonna use this one. Oh, it's not quite wide enough. You know what? It's because these are meant for over here, not necessarily for this. That's okay. We're going to make it work. I'm just going to center it a little bit better. Okay. And then we're going to come back over here. And we're going to use these to spell out dose. And this is just gonna be where we have it track, that we check off that we did our dose for the day. And then I'm gonna put this one right 
here. And then this is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So we start on the 7th. And then I'm just going to date... Okay, and then I will just check off, this is just gonna be tracking that we did the updose. And then here, we're gonna put this for like just any other notes and things. Um, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then over here, this is where I'm, I think, so you can track when you have to give the dose. I think she said, I'm going to, of course, double check the meeting. I think she said every 21 to 27 hours, you have to do it within that window. So that's what I'm going to, I think I'm going to track right here is what time I give it every day. And then any reactions that I notice. So I think um, over here, I'm going to spell out important or daily notes, daily notes. That's what we're gonna spell out. So we're gonna say D A I L Y N O T E S And then I could take this floral lay it down like this down the side and then put this on top okay this actually turned out pretty cute okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our rainbow quotes and I want something that's like, you can do this or something like that. <laughs> um, like this one might be great. Great things never come from comfort zones. That might be a great quote because we are definitely going outside of my comfort zone, but it will be worth it. And then because we don't need this until the 7th, we could put mm, I want to find one a quote that goes like this way. This one is good. It says, remember why you started. Okay, so I'm going to also, because we aren't using the this, we're not starting till the 7th, I am going to come, I think, and put a sticker like this.
and then another one. And then this, we might need to trim some. So let's go back to this book. I wanna put it down so I can trim it to make it fit where I want it to go. Okay, so we're gonna go remember. Why? Yeah, we need to trim this too. I wasn't sure, but. You start it. Okay. And then we're gonna highlight this for August. Okay, so this is my first page. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the other pages for the rest of the year. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a divider from our rainbow dividers. I've gotta find where my extras are. And I'm going to make a section in my planner back here for OIT. And I'm gonna put these in there so that I have them all together. And that's how I'm getting ready to start OIT. If you are an OIT parent, um, if you've gone through this with your allergy kids, I'd love to hear any tips, tricks, things I should know. We're nervous, um, but hopeful. So if you've gone through this, I'd love to hear any suggestions that you have. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button and happy planning.